All right, third I come back, same date time. It's 1843, for my civilians. Check it out. I have finally found my iPad. Check me out. There it is. All right, so, um, yep, there it is, okay. This your bigger planet. There's my eye planet. I think, let me make sure. I'm trying to make sure. I don't wanna screw this up. These damn things are tricky. So it, that might be my eye planet, and that might be a smaller moon. Yep, that's them. That's the ones that passed over earlier. Facing that way when I was in Chesterfield. Now they swung around this way. So normally they're on the left side of the sun. So they came around this way. And they were facing down. Then they rotated across. And there it is. So there it is. Damn it. There it is. I got you. And look at all the drift coming off of it. And there's a, a, a chemtrails just flew by. So there's another one. And I think this is one of its asteroids in front of it. So it's close to us today. There's y'all see an eye. I don't know why it looks. Uh, well, we're on the other side. It, I've never got to see it from the other side. There's this little moon looking planet. I'm trying to make sure I got this right. I'm trying to make sure. It's just really hard because it's at a, a different angle. Give me a second, but there's a chemtrail going across it. So that's definitely it. It rotated, literally. So it was facing downward. And that would let me know it's in close proximity to the earth. If we're on the other side of it. I'm trying to make sure that small one's not it. Give me a second. Just observe with me. I, I'm gonna need y'all help on this. Cause I know that's it, but it rotated. I'm trying to make sure that's not the actual eye and that's not its, um, one of its asteroids that are closer. Looking for us, uh, like personality similarities. Let's get in close on this one. Just making sure, making sure. What I'm looking for is the iris, the eyelid, and the little two planet hooks that form up below it. Okay, so that's a small moon. Now I see it. And that's the big one. So the big one always got an asteroid in front of the iris. It's got an asteroid over the top. And the planet that we... That might be the moon planet below it that always swings around it. And I think this is an asteroid that is always further away. I'm sorry, that's furthest away that's swinging around following it. Like I said, we always see, every time I've caught it, it's been from the other side. So we caught it passing earlier. Um, somehow swung around behind us into from the south east. Now it's in the north quadrant. And it's the other side. I've never seen it from this side. So that lets me know that either it's falling behind us on this elliptical orbit or we have shot ahead of it. And I'm going to say on its elliptical orbit, it is, uh, might be possibly getting away from us since we're seeing it from this side. But yeah, that's it. So it's the eye planet and then the smaller planet. And then this asteroid chasing it above our heads. So, yep, got it. I've never seen it from the other side. So here we are seeing it from the other side. And you can literally see it's pretty much holding the same shape. I'm glad I'm able to see it from the other side and bring it to you all and capture it. Now I was looking at it. I mean, these things change shape real fast and I'm not here, up here pretending, but that's it. I always look for the biggest eye in the smallest planet. So that lets me know the bigger, bigger planet is behind it somewhere. And this asteroid, it's got a lot of bodies with it. So, so the bigger planet would have to be all this above our heads in the mall. All this, all this, all this, all this. And the chemtrails are steadily coming in. There's the one right here. Uh, there's a little asteroid deal right here. You can see it at the center. Lit up like our moon, crescent, and then the dark side. Boom. 
this is our bigger planet right here sitting over the top apart from the planet so it's, it's probably rotated around this own little planet then there's our sun settling and the little star that sits back there in the 11 o'clock position all right damn feel better now i've seen it once i see if i see this thing at least once a month twice a month i'm really happy but once a month yeah i'm really happy because that's kind of like my pivotal point of where knowing where everything is one thing i have not seen more than once is my red asteroid that everybody kept catching but it will come back and i'm pretty sure it's going to pass closer and it's going to wreak some havoc because it's a uh volatile lit uh situation all right so i just want to show you that all right i'm gonna go ahead and jump off here we'll be back poof